guys welcome back to my channel so today I am trying a Pinterest inspired recipe I have been seeing this recipe trending all over the internet and what it is is it's a two ingredient pizza dough that is so crazy to me I have my own pizza dough recipe but when I heard that this one had two ingredients and it's healthy I was like I have to put this recipe to the test I have no idea if it's good I've never had it before but I thought I could film myself doing it and let you guys know if it's worth trying or not so we were gonna get started with this recipe I'm kind of skeptical because I don't think that Greek yogurt and flour can make a pizza dough that just seems so strange but let's try it out. It's all over the internet and it has so many good reviews. So we are going to be trying that today. So let's get started. Okay, so here's all the ingredients you're gonna need for your pizza for the dough. All you're gonna need is some self-rising flour and some Greek yogurt. That's all you need for the dough. But for the actual pizza, go ahead and get a pizza sauce. And I picked up some mozzarella cheese and I'm gonna be doing turkey pepperoni. I didn't wanna go crazy on the toppings because I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. So I just kept it really simple cheese and pepperoni so let's get started okay you guys so I pulled out my KitchenAid mixer and we're gonna go ahead and get this dough mixed up if you do not have a KitchenAid definitely just mix it in a bowl I did that for years you'll be just fine but I recently upgraded to this so let's get mixing first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put one and a half cups of some self rising flour now we're gonna add one cup of some Greek yogurt Make sure you add plain. You definitely don't want flavored Greek yogurt because I'm sure that pizza would not taste good. All right, let's get this on our stand and get mixing. It just wasn't forming a ball like it said it was going to it just seemed really dry and it just was clumpy so I went and added about a tablespoon of Greek yogurt to the dough and it's perfect now it formed the ball just like it said it was going to so I would say that if you are noticing your dough is clumpy just add about one tablespoon of Greek yogurt and it will get perfect okay you all know I love my seasoning so my dough's done I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit of garlic powder and just a little bit of my homemade Italian seasoning I'm gonna mix this up and then we'll be ready to do our toppings Okay, so I have my dough on my pan. We are going to go ahead and roll out our dough. I'm gonna take my roller and put some flour on it. This is the messy part where things start to get messy. I'm just gonna roll this out. So this pan is very large and the pizza is not going to cover all of it. So I think it is completely flattened out. Just kind of fix the holes in the dough. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of form the crust on the pizza. Okay, so our dough is all formed. Let's go ahead and add our toppings.
is all done and it's ready to bake. Now there were so many recipes for this pizza on the internet and all the oven temperatures were like 350, 375, 400, 425, 450. So I'm like, I don't really know how um, I should cook this pizza. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with 450 because this recipe that I'm using had the most reviews and it said 450. So I'm crossing my fingers that it's gonna be good. If I find that the pizza is cooking too fast, I will turn down the temperature to probably like 400. So let's see how this goes. Okay, you guys, so the pizza is all done. It looks really good. I will say that 450 degrees is way too high. The pizza was starting to cook way too fast, so I did cut it down to 400 degrees. So I recommend cooking this recipe at 400. 450, it just was cooking way too fast. So next time I make this recipe, I'm going to just cook it at 400, but it took about 18 minutes to cook. It looks really good. I'm gonna cut it and then we'll give it a try. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and give this pizza a try. I am so curious to know if this two ingredient pizza dough is gonna taste good or not. It smells good, it looks good. Now let's just see if it tastes good. Give it a bite. It is really good. I am super surprised of how good it is. It definitely has a different taste than normal dough does but not in a bad way. I definitely will make this recipe again. I really like it. It's good. I definitely love this pizza dough. Okay guys, that completes today's video. I hope you all enjoyed making that pizza recipe with me. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if you plan to recreate this recipe or if you've had it before. I will be seeing you all very soon with a new video. Bye.